Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back, and we're back in Skyrim at last, and today we continue with the Skyrim mod reviews, and I'll be doing this slightly differently than most, as I'll be only showcasing mods that I either use myself, or I really like, and that are, in my opinion anyway, cut above the rest. The objects of these reviews are simply, I try them out and give you as much detail as I can, so you can choose whether they'll suit your playstyle and character, but always bear in mind that all opinions are subjective. The mod we're looking at today is located northwest of Helgen and close to Riverwood and very near the Guardian Stones and is literally on Lake Illinata with nearby locations such as Illinata's Deep, the Wreck of the Silver Moon, Annecy's Cabin and the Lady Stone. This tower is in one of my favourite local areas in Skyrim. Indeed, my main home, Lakeview Manor from the Hearthfire DLC uh, can actually be seen from this tower. Now one of my secret guilty pleasures in this game are player homes and I'll be doing quite a few of uh, videos of these and I'll be starting with an unusual mod, unusual as it's not entirely lore friendly but the exceptional quality and features take it quite high up on my uh, top homes list and the mod is called Sorceress Tower by the very talented modder Ashley Clark. Now I think it's meant to be Sorcerer's Tower um, but he's written as Sorceress but there also there is a Sorcerer's Tower as well so maybe there's a conflict there. The mod is available on PC and Xbox One and as far as I know sadly not the PS4. The links to the mod are included in the description. This is a great home for any beginner mage or anyone who uses magic or indeed anybody to be honest with you. Now I mentioned it's not truly law friendly, uh, not a truly law friendly mod as this is a Telvani themed home which you typically find in Solstheim. Nonetheless I think this mod is so good I felt it must be included. One quick thing to note is a troll spawns just outside the home grounds so always bear that in mind you might have to deal with him on occasions. I think there are a few other little pieces but none uh, too bad or don't, don't spawn too often to actually make it an uncomfortable uh, living experience. However you may find you may want to deal with him on occasions but to, to be fair I think generally you leave him alone he'll more or less leave you alone but Neve's not in a forgiving mood. Okay, so let's take a little look at the grounds here. We have your typical smithing area. We've got the workbench, uh, the grindstone, uh, the forge itself. We've got ample storage for all types of uh, equipment, which is really handy. And we have the smelter just at the top of that right. And if we actually head up towards uh, the smelter, just to the left of it, we're gonna see a little secret area. And here we go, the pool. Now, this isn't just a really great area to be. This is a really useful uh, and well-functioned area as well. Uh, it has lots of respawnable ingredients and it has uh, all the standing stones. Uh, it has all the shrines that you'd expect to see in the temple, plus a few others. So I'll just let the video do the talking. Yeah, I thought I'd spend a little bit of time in this pool area, in the smithing area. The smithing area is really well done. Um, and the pool area is really useful with all the sandstones and shrines. I didn't mention as well, there's lots of exotic um, uh, flowers and stuff on the outside as well, which respawn. So now let's actually go into the tower itself. And the detailing is very, very good. It's really well done. Now, this is the only thing about the home that I don't like, and it's you have to float up. I really like just going through doors, um, but I'm prepared to actually put up with it on uh, this mod because it's so good. So here we are. Anybody who's done Solstheim will know this uh, kind of look <laughs> already. But there you go. This is the main hall, and this is actually a surprisingly big home. 
Now the home has absolutely everything you're going to need, including um, exotic uh, respawnable uh, plant life, etc. for alchemy. It has loads of storage, it has a cooking area, it has staff enchanters, it has the whole lot. A um, few notable things that uh, are worth considering and one of them is uh, there's no oven here, not that it should be a massive deal to you, uh, but you can't have children. And I would definitely say this is not what I would call a family home. So if you're playing solo and just have a follower maybe, this will be fine. If you're looking for a family home, eh, you know, it's probably, probably not for you. Uh, but anyway, it comes with lots of uh, sets of armour and unique items like the blaze armour, etc. Tons of weapon racks. And again... I'll let the video do the talking. And we're looking at the kitchen area where you've got your spits and your food storage, uh, etc. Uh, as I mentioned, there's no oven here. Now, to a lot of you, again, that may not be that particularly important, but uh, if any of you have seen my Cure Vampirism video, then you can make garlic bread here, which uh, is pretty good. You've got many, many um, mannequins. And we come round, we got bookshelves and respawnable ingredients and quite a few plant plots as well. I can't tell you, it's not how, as much how aesthetically pleasing this mod is, it's also the functionality of it and this is important to me as, as well. Um, when I rate a video, it's not just on the aesthetics, it is how it functions in a day-to-day day-to-day <laughs> day -day gameplay experience so for example uh, in, in a forge I want everything close by I don't want to run for a minute to get to say a, a smelter to uh, a workbench or a forge anyway so one of the offshoot rooms is just through here and this is effectively a storage room as we can see, we've got several mannequins, uh, lots of uh, satchels and, and storage spaces as well, plus some unique and interesting items as well. Uh, the odd shrines thrown in and out here as well. So, yeah. Once you get later on in the game, you've got so much stuff uh, accumulated, you kind of need this storage. And if you're anything like me, I've got stuff dotted all around uh, Skyrim, which I lost. So having one place to store it all right from the beginning is great. Okay, so if we wander across the hall, and I'm doing this in real time as well, so you kind of get a sense of scale and, and uh, the ambience of the home. It's a really, really nice place to be. And to be honest with you, if I didn't play the family role, um, this probably may be my go-to home, actually. Okay, so we come into the crafting area. And again, you've got everything you need here. You've got your alchemy table, your enchanting table, you've got your staff enchanter and a few other bits of bobs and aesthetic uh, things to make it a more uh, pleasant experience. However, he's also thought about the functionality of it. And if you notice by all of the tables, you've got storage spaces as well. So you can put your armor, your ingredients, your soul gems, blah, 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 all conveniently um, close to you so you can craft with a minimum amount of disruption and even bookshelves for uh, spells and blah 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 so there you go so moving on and we passed like a few areas where you've got some uh, weapon racks and some dagger case and that kind of stuff and we're moving up into the library um, again a small little nitpick I'm a big collector of books in Skyrim and there's plenty of shelving here I uh, wish they could have been made more made of the uh, library itself um, but that's from, purely from a very selfish point of view because uh, as I say I do like to collect uh, books but it's good enough for a whole heap of books and there are other bookcases around the uh, mod as well 
Okay, so uh, moving on, we'll have a little peek at the uh, bedroom now. And you're just walking past here, there's another little storage area with a few more mannequins and uh, weapon racks and obviously barrels and stuff for storage. Now I've checked this, as far as I can see all the storage is safe. Now I haven't checked every single one, obviously, because there's a lot here. Uh, but the ones that I have checked are good. Okay, here we are in is a standard, actually a very well equipped bedroom with your double bed. It has a couple of mannequins, storage everywhere. Um, I think it's got some uh, uh, shelves for storage as well. Um, pretty good. Um, and I've checked the well rested bonus does work here as well, which is fine. But it does have a couple of unique features. And first of this is this mirror. Now this enables you to change your appearance. You don't have to go to Riften to uh, pay a thousand gold to have your uh, appearance changed. So there you go. And off you go ahead and change whatever you like. But I think our Neve is uh, pretty enough as it is. So that's the first thing about this bedroom, which I think is absolutely incredibly handy because sometimes I do get bored and I just want a bit of a change. Now, this is brilliant in itself, and uh, but the piece of resistance is over here. And he's cleverly incorporated a black book into this, which opens up your armory. So just read your black book, and here you are. Everything you need to store all your armor. As many mannequins as you need, and as many weapon racks as you need. Now just in the entrance obviously there's eight mannequins and they, actually what's quite important about these as well which often isn't the case, these ones actually seem to be static. I haven't seen these ones move yet so that's not actually guaranteeing they don't know but I've never seen them move. So if we take a little wander through. There you go. And we come through and we can see everything that you have. As much storage as you want, as many weapon racks, weapon, rack, <laughs> weapon racks as you'll need. Yeah, it's got everything that, that you'll want. But that's not all. It has another little surprise for you. So we just take a little wander around here. And we read the black book again. And that brings you down into your collection area as well. So you've got a place for the paragons, all the staves, all the dragon claws. Everything that you can collect can be stored down here, your own exhibition room, and it's really, really well done. Really well done. If you're anything like me, I mean, I've been collecting absolutely everything. And uh, unfortunately, with the half fire homes, uh, you can't display it all. Their armory is pretty rubbish in comparison to what some of the modders have done. It's, it's truly rubbish. Um, there are other reasons that keep me in the half fire home, but uh, for this part of it, certainly. Mods like this kick its ass all day long. Yeah, this is a really well done area. If I was going to be brutally cruel, I, I think I'd rather actually have this area upstairs so I can just walk into it so I don't have to go through the uh, black books. However, I still like the idea where you have to go through the black books because it is your secret area, your secret trophy room, and it makes it kind of a bit special. Uh, again, and you've got the mannequins as well. Plenty and plenty of mannequins, so you can saw pretty much all the armour that you collect uh, throughout the game. And um, it's even got uh, some really well thought out uh, bits and bobs, like um, if we just have a little look over here, 
a special journals and notes that you can put in as well because these kind of things get disregarded or left in your inventory cluttered up in your inventory and you're never going to need them again however it's nice to collect them and you can put them in here again a really really well thought out idea um, just as a whole mod is it's, it's excellent so let's take a little uh, look outside and I'll sum up my opinions on uh, this mod though I think you can guess pretty much where I'm going to go with my uh, final review okay I'm gonna actually say this is one of my all-time favorite player homes and I think it's incredibly well done the mod has put a lot of thought into the detail not just on the aesthetics but also on the gameplay value of it where you don't have to run around like crazy um, just to do a simple bit of crafting so if you're not playing as a family as you can see my followers are all outside so you have to forget about your followers if you're playing as a solo player or even just a follower this house is absolutely perfect for you it's got everything you'll need everything well laid out well thought out I can't rec recommend it highly enough of course the only downside is if you're playing um, in law um, it could be an issue for you obviously because these buildings uh, belong in Solstheim um, and of course there is nowhere for your family to be and that is the downside the upside as I said before perfect mod well thought out in this fantastic location I may be biased here and of course my review is biased because it's subject to my own personal opinions I love the area I love the mod I would highly highly recommend it I really would but it's down to you you see what it is you can get it on Xbox, you can get it on a PC, sadly not on PS4. I'll leave the links uh, below. And uh, just like to say congratulations to the mod author. Job well done. See you later guys, and I'll leave you with a parting view. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and hit the bell next to the subscribe button, after you subscribed obviously, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.